What's up guys? It's your boy Chip back at you from RBA Bapes and today we're talking about the Snowland Sharon Mini. Alright guys, so today we've got the Smoant Sharon Mini. Open her up there, you can see you get the device obviously, and then you get your manual, little battery safety thing, and the quality control card. This is a pretty thick little manual too. Okay. Instantly powers up. This guy is 225 watts with a nice bright color screen on it. Three clicks gets you into your menu. You've got variable voltage or variable wattage mode. And these are your power curves or your ramp up. So you've got low, normal, and max. And then you also have your power curve here that you can pre-program yourself. Click in, go up or down, click power and it goes back out like so. And you go all the way to the end. Now your TC modes, you've got nickel, titanium, stainless steel, TCR, and you have your TC curve as well, which works just like your other one. And if you long press the fire button, that's your exit. <laughs> then in your settings there, you've got a screen brightness, a time, a display, which gives you two different style options. One being the gears that you saw there, and two is a digital clock. And you can upload your own screensavers, screen timeout, or do a factory reset. And then different wallpapers. You can upload your own wallpaper on here, which is really cool. I like blue, so let's use that one. And then long press to go out. And you can see it did switch over to the phase two, which is your digital and your background. I accidentally put it on temperature, so we'll go back to wattage, normal. And you can see there your wattage. You go up, up button and down down button power locked so you can't adjust hold both of them again power unlocked so you can adjust now I really like the nice bright large display screen on here you can see it's very small for a dual 18650 device, which is obviously why they call it the Mini. Very simple menu to operate, as well as um, very nice large screen. Now they have updated the chipset on this guy, and we'll talk about that when we get a little more up close and personal. But for the up close portion, that's pretty much all there is. It's very similar to the original Sharon, just not touching it. Now that you've got a good up close look at it, we're going to pull back and talk about this guy a little bit more in depth. Um, first of all, you will notice the size of it, um, size comparison wise. This is your blade from Geek Vape, so we're going to put it up next to it. Um, you can see it's substantially shorter, substantially thinner, and about the same width, give or take. But the measurements on this guy are looking like 89 millimeters from here to here, 45 millimeters this way, and then 29 millimeters this way. So you can see a 25 millimeter Addy sits perfectly up on top of there, but you will have a little bit of overhang if you try to go with a 28 or a 30 or something like that. Um, sorry, got a little schmutz on it. 
So this guy is their dual 18650 and it is teeny tiny. It's roughly the same size as some of the single 21700s and things like that. Um, the chipset does go up to 225 watts. You've got the fire button on the side here. Nice big color display. Up and down buttons right here. Your left is your, excuse me, your left is your down button, your up is your right button, and you've got the micro USB port right underneath. Now this is a two inch TFT screen. That's why you're getting such good uh, display on it as well as color and brightness. Now the pixel rating on this thing is 300 DPI. So it's a really good dense pixel screen. Um, it's probably one of the best color screens I've seen on a vape device to be honest with you. I mean if you take a good close look at it you can see that it's got all the wonderful color and display functions that we're used to um, or that we've come to like on phones and things like that and it's a two 262k pixel level so it's very dense as well now the chips that they've gotten here is the ant 225 and it's a little bit of an upgrade from the original Sharon chip but it doesn't have the touch screen or any of those features it does have a 0 0.015 second ramp up so I don't know if you can hear that but it's basically instantaneous um, and that's on your normal ramp up mode so it does have firmware upgrades you can do through the micro USB and it is independent R&D which means there's an outside company that did the layout and design features and all that. Obviously it's very ergonomic. You've got nice rounded edges here all the way around top bottom both sides. Feels very good in the hand. Feels very nice well built sturdy. Um, we talked about your custom power curves, but it does have a separate TC and variable wattage power curve mode. So you can do up to 10 seconds, which is a little bit longer than a lot of your other chipset manufacturers are looking at. And we did show you the two different UIs um, or user interfaces. This is version 1, and we showed you one, two, three clicks. Go down to your settings here. Click that. And then go to display. Hit that version 2 and it's switched over long press kicks me back out long press again kicks me back out and there you can see the other version and you can put any kind of background that you want on there so it's really cool so the DIY wallpaper is cool because you have nine basic pictures that it comes with but you can add your own too so it's uh, completely customizable and you can put whatever you want on that standby screen there which is super cool now let's talk about the protection features. Obviously it's got your low voltage protection, reverse battery polarity protection, over current protection, overheating protection, and over time protection. Now this guy has a balanced charger built into it so you can charge your batteries in here. So if one of them is lower than the other one, it will charge them up to even once the, the battery is plugged in. So it's balanced charging is a new feature that they've said is upgraded so it's definitely going to give you a much safer use of batteries and charging within um, didn't show you this on the up close but it does have a magnetic battery door you can see all four magnets on the sides there and your four po or three points of contact um, because of this lip right here it doesn't really slide um, like they say it does but you do have a little cutout on the bottom there so you can get your finger up underneath that guy. So that's all the parameters on it. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit of what our take is on it. Um, they've got some color, cool color options. You've got four different colors that they're making this guy. I'm going to throw those up right meow. The biggest thing that we that I like about this guy is the screen. The screen on this is probably one of, if not the best screens I've ever seen on a vape device. It's bright, it's colorful, it's very good resolution. Uh, it's recessed in there pretty good, so I don't see too much of an issue if you are clumsy and you drop stuff. It's got a nice cover over top of it that looks to be fairly thick. Um, I mean, just look at that. You can see the little gears and stuff turning inside there. And it's it reminds me a lot of like a smartwatch screen, but bigger, obviously. And um, 
the rich display with the, the pixel density, the 300 DPI that they're using here is definitely top of the line. Um, it's a beautiful screen and it has plenty of room for all the information that you want or that you need and then some. Uh, with the customization options to be able to add pictures and all kinds of different stuff like that, it's definitely one of the best uh, new mods out screen and display wise. So let's talk about the performance. So a lot of people have been saying the Sharon chipset is one of the best out there and it's better than the Vupu Drag chipset and a lot of other things. So my personal opinion on it is that it is uh, slightly faster than the Vupu, but um, I don't think it's the fastest out there. Vaporesso just launched their uh, Omniboard version 4 with Instafire, which is 0.01 seconds. Uh, so that is definitely the fastest we're gonna have a review coming up for that in a couple of weeks but it is almost as fast as that one so it is no slouch whatsoever the way the user interface works to me is probably one of the coolest and easiest to use user interfaces that I've seen out um, it's a simple three click and there's all your menu options you click the fire button it goes into them you got your up and down buttons to scroll through very nice long press on the fire button and it kicks you out of your menu and it's just super simple it works very well it's very intuitively designed so there's no back clicking or double pressing or anything like that it's just one click in long press out and then up and down gives you your directional or your scrolling opportunities all in all we got to give this thing two very enthusiastic thumbs up we haven't reviewed many Smoant products, but this one is definitely at the top of its class. Well done to the guys at Smoant. It's got the best screen I've seen. It's got one of the best ramp ups. The user interface is super easy to use. And the form factor, that's four big stars. It's got a nice feel in the hand. It fits very well. For a dual 18650 device, this thing is almost perfect. The only gripe I have is with the magnets. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a little bit of wiggle to it. And it does move depending on how you're holding it in your hand. So if you don't, if you want a very secure back battery door, I don't necessarily think it's gonna come off per se. The magnets seem to be seated well, so it's not an issue of the magnets coming out. It's just a, a fit issue to me. It's not quite, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not quite perfect. And that's really the only thing I could say about it is the door is not quite perfect. So if that's the biggest complaint that I've got, obviously this thing seems to be pretty solid. Um, so you can get yours today for 10% off. We're going to drop the coupon code right now. And that is available at shop.rvavapes.com. So make sure you go online and check that out. We've also added a whole bunch of new juice options. So make sure you scroll down when you get to the main page and look on the left hand side. They're online only deals, so we're not gonna be carrying them in store, but they are at the warehouse that we're gonna be able to ship directly to you. So make sure you check that out. We've added a ton, a ton of juice. So check those out and maybe for 4th of July, we'll run a discount on all the new juices so you can try some stuff you haven't tried or get an old favorite. Um, we've tried to pick up as many as we possibly can afford to, uh, including some of our old favorites like Boilermakers on there and a bunch of other ones, Lighthouse, as well as the original Glass Line and much, much more. So make sure you check out the website and look at the online only deals section. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up, keep it short and sweet like we do. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you want to smoke, that's your business. If you don't, you know where we're at. <laughs>